Hello everybody, I am Mike the Zorch, and this is June's episode of Fan Fiction Multiverse. This will be a quick episode today to give you a uh, an idea of what is coming, and also any information on delays for stories I'm currently working on. As you know, there's a lot of stuff happening here on the channel, and so that's setting up some delays for a few things. So we're building a set for the channel. We'll have green screen and everything. So the podcast that you're going to see will change. Uh, it won't be this format anymore in the coming future. It'll be some new format. You might actually see me on camera. I might go back to doing this. I'll have access to much better video editing software. I have access to Adobe Premiere. And I'll be able to do a lot more with that than I could with HitFilm. I didn't have all the bells and whistles of HitFilm. I just had the base free version. If you paid about 400 something bucks, you could get all the bells and whistles, get all the features, all the compositing capabilities. It had some minimal compositing, but I wanted to be able to do more and I was just limited by the software. So now I will have Adobe Photoshop and I will have after effects available to me that's all tigris stuff but he's putting it on that machine so that we can all use it so as you noticed uh, i did not release any new stories for beneath the crimson sky and the promise yet i'm still working on nindo the force and that chapter has been started I have not had a chance to work on it as much as I would like. And also, we've got E3 coming up, and I'm going to be doing a bunch of live streams on the Gamers Bay channel to recap all the E3 press conferences. So it's going to be every night after the E3 conferences, starting on Saturday of this weekend, we're going to be covering those. So check out the Gamers Bay channel and also the Gamers Bay community on Google Plus to get notifications on when those live streams will begin. It'll be me and Tigra will be talking about everything that was shown at all the different E3 events that will be going on that weekend. The first one will be I believe the first one is EA then the next one will be Microsoft and Ubisoft oh that's that's Sunday but definitely Bethesda there's two that we are really waiting on and that's the one from Microsoft and Bethesda because I want to know more about the new Fallout plus also No Man's Sky Next we've gotten very little information on that new expansion it's a huge one and so I'm really looking forward to seeing the Microsoft press conference because the game is coming to the Xbox One and Microsoft has been promoting the game through 505 games and we're really excited to see what they might have the show for it. We know that we will at least get a trailer by then. But moving on to the fan fiction. I as I said I've just I started Mindle the Force. I haven't completed it because I've been gearing up for this whole thing with E3 and also the, the working on the set we're building the new computer now I was helping Tiger earlier getting it in this is a, uh, a Threadripper machine so it's a TR4 socket he's never installed anything like that before and I know how to inst I know how to install and set things up for that and we got the liquid cooler on today and we've just been really just just tired all day today because of all the stuff that's going on and we'll get the fin get the machine finished very soon it will still be another week before you start seeing new videos and stuff from me and also from Tigra for this channel and also on Gamers Bay and Tigra's channel so that's gotten in the way of me working on Nindo the Force and Outer Rim Redemption. I haven't even written the first chapter of Outer Rim Redemption yet. I have a rough draft of a first chapter. 
that I have not sent to the Jim Bader group yet. I will not release that chapter to fanfiction.net until I have at least put it out on the Jim Bader group on Yahoo Groups so that they can take a look at it and I can get a critique from them of what they think and then do any kind of changes that might need to be made, any kind of improvements. I've got software to deal with grammar and spelling already, so we'll see what happens there. I haven't started any of these yet. WTF still has its own first chapter out. I will be getting to these. And something hentai this way comes. And I need the time to do it. Because I will have the new machine and the new set. I will be able to get stuff done faster. I'll be able to do some more elaborate videos. I'll be able to get stuff done faster. I'll be able to render videos faster. Everything up here uh, won't be as much work to do things now. So I w should have more time to write stories. Should have more time. So I've got some interesting plans and ideas for something hentai this way comes. I've definitely got some interesting ideas for it. Now I had another story that I was going to write where Ranma gets locked as a girl and goes to work at Mahora Academy as a PE teacher. Well, I decided to roll that into this story where Ranma, you know, the whole the whole thing with this, Ranma ends up being a PE teacher at Mahora Academy. And you'll find an interesting idea I've decided to use for this in that respect. So I think you will really like it and WTF is a spin-off of this story. I've been, as you notice, I've been doing spin-offs of these stories. WTF is a spin-off. And the other the promise is the spin-off of Beneath the Crimson Sky and Outer Rim Redemption is a spin-off of Nindo the Force. Those Nindo the Force and Beneath the Crimson Sky and Something Hentai This Way Comes are all the mainline stories. The other ones are spin-offs. They're meant to be short. The WTF, it's not going to be a long story. Neither is Outer Room Redemption, neither is Out the Promise going to be long stories. As for future pro projects, I have been wanting to do a Ron Mahav DC crossover story for a long time. I've had a story where Ranma is the son of Bruce Wayne. I know that he already does have a son in canon, Damian Wayne, but he, this is a son that Bruce didn't know he had from when he was much younger. It was this older son that Bruce didn't know he had from a time of indiscretion that he had with Nodoka before she married Genma and there's a whole story behind I've, I've put, made an entire story behind how that happened how she ended up being married to him instead of Bruce uh, it ties into a lot of the xenophobia that exists in older generations in Japan and how even though he was a billionaire her more really traditional xenophobic family really didn't approve of him because he wasn't Japanese. And so she ended up marrying someone who was a friend of the family instead and comes to find out that Rama is not Genma's biological son. A lot of that will appear in the first chapter so it's not going to be a big spoiler but there's going to be a lot of uh, additional stuff that will come with this. Uh, Ranma will be trying to be... I had an idea for another story where Ranma would try to be a kind of Batman slash Spider-Man kind of superhero. Where he would be trying to get rid of the Yakuza in town. And I thought, why don't I mesh these two together? 
and was trying to get rid of the Yakuza in town because someone he's close to gets hurt by them, and so he tries to get them out of town, and he is Bruce Wayne's son, unbeknownst to him, the only person who knows the truth is Nodoka, his, his mother, and so it would be an interesting way to roll those two ideas together. Instead of writing two separate stories again, I'd be able to roll those two ideas together, and I think it's going to be a really good, interesting story. I've got a superhero name for Ranma. I'm not going to reveal what that is yet. So that's just a quick episode. Uh, again, I just wanted to touch on exactly what was going on, why you haven't seen any new updates lately. I've been pretty busy, but I hope in the near future I will be able to get more time to work on stories because I will have a better, more efficient way of making videos. I have a faster, much faster machine much more powerful machine to be able to do video rendering and everything with. So, hang in there. The updates are coming. The updates are definitely coming. I will work on Nindo the Force as much as I can in the next few days. I may not be able to get it out before I start the live streams this weekend. And also, we're still working on the set. We're still working on the computer to go along with that. And there's a lot of other things that need to be done after that. There's like all the software that needs to be configured on it. Because that machine is going to be for more than just me doing videos. It's going to be for a lot of different things. And there's a lot of things that need to be configured. A lot of things need to be set up. And so we're going to be using that machine a lot for several things here. Oh, well, I have been Mike Zorch. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you next episode.